Today I'm doing a quick video on how to adjust the saddle height on a guitar to adjust the overall action of the instrument. I've been using it for sort of a flat picking all around guitar. I've decided that I want to move it to more of a finger style guitar so the action's a little bit too high for that right now. So I'm going to show you how we take the saddle off and adjust that height. The first thing we want to do before we start disassembling the guitar is to take a measurement at the 12th fret to figure out what our action currently is and figure out how much we need to take off of the saddle to get the action to our desired height. So here I have a simple luthier scale and I like to work in metric when I'm doing setup work. So I'm going to place this just behind the sixth string, the low E string, and we're going to look for the notch, the black level over the twelfth fret to see how high our current action is. So you can see here we've got a little bit of silver still showing between the 2.25 mark so it's a little higher than that, but we can't see any silver under the 2.5 mark. So we're at about 2.5 millimeters off of the 12th fret. So the reason that we take the measurement at the 12th fret before we get started is to figure out how much material we're going to have to remove from the saddle in order to get the overall guitar action to the height that we desire. So on this particular guitar, I'd like the action at the 12th fret to be around 1.75 millimeters. The ratio is 2 to 1 for your overall height adjustment. So if we lower the saddle 2 millimeters, it's going to lower our action at the 12th fret by 1 millimeter. So in this case, I want to lower the overall action 0.75 millimeters so I'm going to need to take 1.5 millimeters off of my saddle in order to get to my desired string height. So now I'm going to remove the strings real quick so that we can pull the saddle. Alright so now that I've removed my guitar strings I'm going to keep these strings so that I can use them for a, sort of a test fit later on then I'll put a new set on when I'm done but now that I have the old strings removed I'm going to pull the saddle out so that we can start working on it. Now these are not glued in or anything like that. They're usually a pretty snug fit, so you may have to kind of wiggle it and uh, work it out of there. But they should just pop out. And so once we have it out, uh, now we're going to make a mark on it to set the height that we're going to remove. And then we'll get started with uh, adjusting. Another important thing to note here is the direction in which your saddle came out because there is some curvature to the top of your saddle. Generally speaking, the treble side is going to be shorter than the bass side just because of the diameter of the strings. But it's important that we place it back in the saddle in the same orientation that it came out to ensure that we don't affect the string radius across the fretboard. So what I'm going to do now is use this luthier scale to make a mark on the saddle 1.5 millimeters down from the bottom of the saddle because I know that's how much I need to take off in order to achieve my desired action. Another thing that I'll note is typically on an acoustic guitar your action at the 12th fret will be between 2 and 2.5 and millimeters which is about 80 to 100 thousandths of an inch. But I know that on this particular guitar and my personal preference is a little bit lower than that so I feel safe going down to 1.75 millimeters right off the bat. If this is the first time you've done this I definitely recommend stopping at 2 millimeters at the lowest, checking the action and making sure that it still feels okay and that you don't have any string buzz and then if you feel comfortable going a little bit lower then by all means do that but alright so with that being said let's go to the shop and start making our adjustments 
So you can see here that I've put a straight line as straight as I could across the bottom of this saddle and it's at approximately one and a half millimeters which will get me to my target action. So I've moved out to my workshop. This is a granite top. You can use any flat surface to do this and all we're going to do is use uh, different grades of sandpaper to sand down the bottom of our saddle until we reach our target thickness. So I like to start with 100 grit and then I'll go to the 220 to smooth it up once I'm done. But like I mentioned, you want to use a good flat surface. This is a granite top on a table saw, but you can just as easily use a kitchen countertop. So all I'm going to do now is keep my sandpaper and the bottom of my saddle as flat as I can against that granite top and work it down until I get to my desired thickness. So I'm going to work on this a little bit and then we'll see where we're at. I like to stop and check periodically and make sure that my edge is staying pretty square and true to the line that I've drawn. You also want to make sure when you're sanding that you don't rock the piece side to side so that you would take off one of the corners because we want it to set good and flat back in the bridge plate. It's also important to note where you're placing pressure when you're pressing against the sandpaper. I like to make sure I'm putting light pressure in the middle of the saddle and that's because if you put pressure on either end you're going to wear them more quickly than the whole piece. So we want to make sure that we're taking the bottom of the saddle down as evenly as possible. So here I've reached the point where I've almost reached the thickness that I want to be at. You can see that I've got just a little bit of pin line left uh, toward the tip there and here in the center. So this is when I'm going to switch to the 220 just to clean things up and make sure I get a nice smooth bottom. So now that all the pin mark is removed, I should be at the proper height. So I'm going to call it good right there. Now that I'm back at the guitar, I'm going to check the fit. So I'm just going to set the saddle back in the slot, make sure it's seated. And then I'm going to tap all the way across it and make sure there's no movement. Because if one end or the other causes the saddle to lift, then I know that I didn't get it truly flat that could affect my tone. So this one fits good. Uh, I don't feel any movement there. So we're ready to put the strings back on. If it did rock, I would take it back out to the uh, table saw and work it until I was sure that it was good and flat and fits nice and tight in the slot. So now that I have the saddle installed, I put the strings back on and I've tuned the guitar back up to standard tuning. That's very important because as you tune the strings, they add tension to the neck and that will raise your action. So if you check it with just one string on or if you check it with the strings loose, your reading won't be accurate. So you do need to make sure you tune your guitar up to standard tuning before you take your measurement at the 12th fret. So now for the moment of truth, I'm going to put the scale on it and see if we hit our target. I was aiming for 1.75. 125 definitely has a gap. 150 is close but there's a small gap. And 175, although it's hard to see. Yeah, we're almost, we're actually just a hair over 175 but I played it. It feels great to me. So this is where we're going to leave it. And uh, yeah, we wound up really close to our targets. This is another one of those things that uh, it may seem a little bit daunting when you first look at it. But as long as you take your time, make sure you measure carefully and go slow. You don't have to go the whole distance in the first try. You can totally uh, take your measurements and then go halfway to the action that you think you want it to be 
and then go back and adjust more later if you decide that you want to move it more. The other important note on that is if it's your first time adjusting, I would never aim for lower than two millimeters or 80 thousandths at the 12th fret until you've tried it and played it because any lower than that and you may get extreme uh, fret buzz and those sort of issues. So I know that this is the setup that I like, but it takes some trial and error to figure out exactly what you like. And there's a fine line between nice and low and easy to play and too low and buzzing. So I would always uh, urge you to err on the side of caution. Maybe stay a little bit high if you're worried about uh, string buzz. All right, well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this helpful and you feel more confident now about adjusting your own guitar.